All right, guys, a uh, little change on the facial hair as uh, I'm working on this project in my basement. The mask was getting annoying with the big beard, so new look for a little bit, but I just got today my Killer Instinct crossbow that I ordered. So I ordered this from Walmart. It is a Killer Instinct Hero 380, so 380 feet per second. Guys, it comes with well, I'll, I'll show you in a second, but it comes with a rope cocker, bolts, an illuminated scope. I paid $169 shipped to my house. So that's taxes and everything included. You can't get a crossbow for $169 anywhere. So very, very excited about this. I had to try it out. I absolutely had to. So let's dig into, get a first look at the Killer Instinct Hero. 380 a truly budget crossbow if i ever saw one this is the box it comes in it came ups um i'm just guessing that's just the seller i don't know who killer instinct uses themselves you can see right here 380 so i'm gonna open this up and we will take a look Well, it looks like you got a box inside of a box, which I actually like to see. Let's get this out of here. I do hear stuff shifting around in there. Not sure. I love that. All right. So there is the first looks in the box here. So you got your instructions, just your quick start assembly, and your cocking tips. And we're going to take a little closer look at this as I pull it up. I do apologize for filming this in my basement, but it is so windy outside that uh, I didn't want to wait till another day. So let's take our first looks here. Wow, this is very light. So you can see right here, they have a uh, this is gonna be your cable slide that goes in. It's nice that they tell you not to even remove this. Kinda of alerts you that, hey, this is important. Don't get rid of that. Guys, that is honestly for, it's not that wide for the price. A lot of them, they get pretty wide, it seems like the cheaper they go. And that is not very heavy. Got your lifetime warranty there. And keep digging in. And I am sorry if you can hear the dog barking. She's chasing the chickens. So this is going to be your quiver assembly, your foot stirrup, and your rope cocker. Part of your quiver. Sorry, the quiver's in here. Here's your main stock right there so I think this is where you're gonna find the cheaper materials right you got just a hard plastic you know this thing on the end here that's pretty hard but it's lightweight and again <laughs> for what I paid I'm not gonna complain too much So 
So here's your quiver. Hopefully I'm getting in the frame. Here's your quiver here. It comes with three of the Hyper arrows. These are pretty light. Pretty light arrows. Got your half moon. But what I like about this quiver is it actually can hold five arrows. Seems like most of them are three arrows. This, it comes with three arrows, but it's actually got spots for two more arrows. That's super nice. But guys, I'm gonna be honest. This is just cheap. It's very thin. It's very light. But you're looking at a budget crossbow. And this is gonna be your scope, I would assume. Protect it at least a little bit. Your instructions. Comes with a cleaning cloth. It's actually not very big. Your Allen wrench. So there you are. Nothing too crazy. It's pretty small. Again, 160 bucks. I was expecting some things to be a little cheaper. And yeah, your scope's smaller. You know, it's it just looks like it's gonna be a little cheaper. But we'll see for 160 bucks if you can kill a deer. I mean, come on. So I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with putting it together. <laughs> Let me put it together here and then I'll show it to you as one solid piece and maybe compare it to my, I believe it was $260 when I bought it. Can't remember exactly, it's been a few years, but my, my budget Barnett, I'll call it. And just kind of compare the two and see how they compare. I mean, 160 bucks doesn't really compare with a whole lot else other than really cheap stuff that you would get from Walmart. But just to kind of give you an idea of budget wise, if you can catch one of these bows this cheap, is it is it a good bow? So, ran into something putting this together. One, instructions, they're okay. Um, if you have some general knowledge of crossbows, you'll probably get it together fine. But what I'm running into is the scope, where they have the scope rings on, it actually doesn't just fit onto your, your rail. So I have to adjust that. Not a big deal, but it'd be nice if it came kind of set, ready to just drop it on tighten it down, get out and shoot. Maybe it's just mine. Not a big deal. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> Not a big deal, but just something to know, you know, again, 160 bucks. I expect this kind of stuff right here where, you know, you got to tweak something a little bit. So what I'm talking about is right here. You would think they would have this all set so that it, it fit right into the groove but they're off a little bit, so I'll have to adjust all that manually. Again, not, not the end of the world, but kind of would wish it would come done right. So it comes with three of these arrows. Sure better than the two that a lot of them used to come with.
Okay, so it is way too windy to try to sight in a bow today. I mean, it is gusty. So I took those few shots at about 10 yards just to see how it shoots. Guys, it's fairly quiet for a crossbow. And I'm still of the mindset you shouldn't need more than one shot anyways. So it's pretty quiet for a crossbow. It's light. It's a little more compact if you don't have that second thicker buttstock add-on on there. So for beginners and for if you got kids who uh, don't want a heavier crossbow and you want something a little lighter, I mean, beginner crossbow guys, budget crossbow, if you can get this for 200 or under, I don't see how it's not a good deal. Is it a little cheaper than some other ones? Yeah, but that, that's in the price. But you get the higher speed, even though, you know, some of it might be made a little cheaper. The important parts do not seem to be made cheaper. So, I think for, for what I paid, 160 bucks, first impressions, awesome. Obviously, we'll do a more in-depth review of this coming up. But I wanted to get this out there as soon as I could. So far, Killer Instinct is a little better than I had thought especially for 160 bucks, guys. Check them out if you're looking at, you know, a, a startup. Obviously, you know I have been a Barnett guy forever. Uh, compared to my Hyper Raptor, is it anywhere close? Of course not. The Hyper Raptor is a $600, 410 feet per second. It's got all these special features built into it. That is... It's, it's way above this. But if you're looking at those $200 crossbows, you know, Barnett has the Game Crusher. You know, Centerpoint has one. Uh, I've seen Rocky Mountain, I believe it is, uh, at Family Farm and Home. This is right in there with that. You get a little more speed than some of those. But you're staying below that 400 feet per second. You're going to be more comfortable with it. You're not going to have to worry about... With speed comes issues. It, it really does, you know? So if you're looking for a budget crossbow, I believe Walmart still has it for under 200 right now. I don't know how many they have left. But if you go to their website, Killer Instinct Hero 380, last I checked, I believe it was 190 So it went up 30 bucks, but they still have some. If you're looking for a beginner crossbow, you just want to check it out. You don't want to spend a bunch of money. Go check this out. It's a great deal right now. Seems to be a great bow. More reviews of it coming later. Thanks for checking it out, guys.